Psalms, chapter 138, a Psalm of David. <clears throat> I will praise thee with my whole heart. Not half-hearted, not a quarter heart, a full heart, a whole heart. Giving God your all. Giving God your heart. With the heart man believes unto righteousness. Before the God will I sing praise unto thee. That's a weird statement. <clears throat> but look at the life of David where he was. As a military man, he was all over the place. He was over the Philistines. He was over this group. And he was surrounded by gods. And amongst the gods of the heathen, he would worship God and pray for God. And Naaman, when he came back to Elijah, said, listen, I've got to go to the house of this God. Will you ask God to pardon me while I worship God of the Bible, God of the, of the Jews, while I have to go into this God of this, of this king of mine? We're surrounded by God. And if you want to think that this nation is given to God of the Bible, you're, you're absolutely crazy. And if you ever want to check on, on the status of, of the gods of America, get yourself a major city, get the yellow pages, and then look up under the category of churches, and find out how many gods are out there. And in the midst of those gods that the world has, serve God. Sing praise to God. When we go Saturdays tomorrow to the farmer's market, they're going to bring out one of their gods, a stereo, music, the devil. I'm still going to praise God amongst the gods. And there's all kinds of gods at the farmer's market. There's that radio. There is George Washington. There is Benjamin Franklin. There's Hamilton. There's Jefferson. But we're going to serve God. I will worship toward the holy temple. Now who's this psalm of? It's David. David told us in one of his writings, he says, I looked out my window and I saw the ark dwells amongst curtains. This is not the temple, the beautiful temple. That's Solomon. Solomon builds that temple after David dies. It's where God is. And today you need to realize that God is in our bodies. He's not in the church building. And if you look at a church building today in the world, there are people saved and there are people lost. There are people who are serving the Lord and there are people saved who are not serving the Lord. When David says the Holy Temple, it's a bunch of curtains. And praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. Wow. Wow. That's much more than politicians will give you. Politicians will give you lies and baloney. God gives you loving kindness and the truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. For thou hast magnified, made more, thy word above all thy name. Oh, that's a touchy statement. The very word of God, the King James Bible, God says, I lift that up above my name. For Jesus is the word. Now, aren't you going to have a hard time when you get to heaven and you didn't read the Bible? And you said you love God. Oh, I love God. How often have you read his word? 
Okay. Thou, God, has magnified thy word above all thy name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. God says, my word is higher than that. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. The word of God is eternal. Oh, I feel sorry if you don't open to read it. In the day when I cry, thou answereth me. So unlike those idols we did a few weeks ago, that have ears that can't hear, David said, God heard me. And strengtheneth me with the strength in my soul. Strength came from God. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord. When they hear the words of thy mouth. That's a millennial passage. That's when Jesus Christ is speaking. Capital O, capital O, capital R, capital D. Come on, you really think that's today all the kings of the world? If somebody opens up the Bible to read it, you think they're going to pay attention? Donald Trump don't pay attention. I don't know about the Queen of Elizabeth. I don't know about the the uh, uh, the Russian ruler. I know a Nahu. Israel's in Nahu there. He's not a king, but I know he don't pay attention to the New Testament. That's a millennial passage. Yea, they shall sing in the way of the Lord. And great is the glory of our Lord. That's millennial. That passage is, is when the Lord Jesus Christ is sitting king on David's throne. And all the world will worship. And if they don't, they don't get rain. The prophet says. There'll be people that will grab a Jew and the time to go see the Lord. Come on, we're going to follow you. We're going to take us to Jesus. Though the Lord be high up, up in the heavens, yet have he respect unto the lowly. God loves you despite your fame, your riches, your hosing. Your condition. But the proud. He knoweth afar off. Are you humble and lowly? God say come here. Are you proud? Get away from me. It's kind of understandably. But when some people say that. You know it's okay to have pride. Evidently, they have not read their Bible. I challenge you. Put in the comments. Where in the King James 1611 Bible. The 66 books. Between Genesis and Revelation. Put down the verses that say. Where pride is good. I challenge you. A minimum of three. One for the God. One for the Jesus. And one for the Holy Spirit. Give me three verses in the Bible where pride is spoken well of, and it's not a sin. And I, I will humbly bow myself and repent, and I will I will make a, a little video to tell the people that I was wrong. That has to be proud, pride, lofty. Don't give me something you're going to, well, this implies being proud. This implies, no, no. P 
P-R-O-U-D-P-R-I-D-E-L-O-F-T-Y. Plain and simple. I mean, I'm dumb, but I know how to spell. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, and that's David's famous words. I'm surprised it's not called David's trouble. I mean, when you look at the two men in the Bible, Jacob and, and David, they were troublemakers. And I mean, they, they didn't cause trouble. Wherever they were, there was trouble. But I think David would, would take the cake with trouble. Though both David and Jacob both had troubles with wives and family and children. I don't read anywhere where David had troubles with, with a father-in-law like Jacob. But Jacob had, I mean, David had troubles with the Philistines. David had trouble with, with his own army. David had trouble with his own sons. Shimei. I mean, that's a toss-up. Thou will revive me, return back to life. I was almost dead. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemy. David's a Jew. David's the king of the Jews. David is chosen particularly by God. I'm going to curse them that curse you. Don't mess with the Jews. They're God's people. And thy right hand, who's at the right hand of God? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, you forgot. Jesus is eternal. Jesus has always been, even before he was born. And even the times of David here, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. Jesus left that right hand of God to be born of Mary. And to live 33 and a half years on this earth till he died and ascended back up to heaven in Acts chapter 1. That right hand of God has always been Jesus. Why? Shall save me. Who saves? Jesus. What's the name of Jesus mean? Jehovah saves. The Lord will perfect or perfect. The Lord will perfect. That which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hand. Lord, don't leave the, the people alone. Lord, don't leave me alone. Lord, we, we reach out for your mercy. Help us. And it all lies in the word of God. You better have the King James Bible. There's no other Bible. It's the Word of God. You better read the Bible. For the Bible, the Word of God is exalted above the name of Jesus. That plain and simple. And when you get a country like America who says you can't have the Bible in the courtroom, you can't have the Bible in public school, you can't have the Bible anywhere in a government facility, Stop saying God bless America. Stop saying we're a Christian nation. Because you're only going to have to stand before God and give an account for your lies. The word of God is so important. It is above the name of Jesus Christ. It's above Jehovah. It's above the I am. I didn't say that. The Holy Spirit said that. 